Shivani, it was such a pleasure to work with you on the COVID warrior effort. Your passion to help those on the ground was infectious. What did you see in India that motivated you to continue to help when you returned to the U.S.? So the second wave actually hit when I was in the middle of my trip in India. And although I was fortunate enough to not have to experience the effects of it firsthand, um, I definitely saw it around me. Um, I was in quarantine. I was there for my best friend's wedding. And unfortunately, her wedding got canceled. But that was such a small thing to happen in the scope of everything happening around us. Um, and while I was there, my mom connected me to Bhumi Bidnikar, who is one of the leads of our COVID projects. Um, well, she introduced one of the COVID projects to Home of Hope, and she had taken on this huge effort to bring a bunch of volunteers together to help patients one on one individually. And I started doing that work while I was sitting there in Mumbai. And when I came back home, I found it even harder to distance myself from those groups because I was able to see the privilege that we had sitting in the US and how the people in India were being impacted. Um, so I think that's just what motivated me to keep working once I touched ground here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Tanya, well, you helped me a lot when I came back to the US. Uh, how did you get involved in the fundraising efforts? Yeah, very similarly, I was heartbroken seeing images on the news of what was happening in the ground in India. And, and um, to your point, there felt like there was such a disparity between our safe, sheltered, socially distant lives to the stories that we were hearing of people searching for hospital beds for their loved ones and looking for ventilators. Um, and I could think of no other organization better than HOH to partner with and connect our millennials with who felt as helpless as I did. So it was really easy to activate on social media and get the word out. Um, HOH being an organization where I could personally guarantee that every dollar donated would go on the ground to help the volunteers like you and the rest of the, the COVID warriors. And so just really grateful that, that we were able to um, make that connect connection and also mobilize the millennial, millennial population that was really actually very excited to help and wanted yeah. a place to, that they could trust to channel their, their energies and their, their resources. Um, part, of, part of what we did that I thought was really cool was work with a number of talented performers and artists and you were able to make a lot of those connections. Um, yeah. what, was, what was their motivation to get involved? I mean, I think all of us Unfortunately, every single South Asian person I knew, even in the diaspora, was affected in some way. They either had their own families affected or they knew of family friends who were affected. And so I think a lot of people were just passionate about finding any small way they could help their families over there from over here. Um, and a lot of artists found ways to channel their frustration and their despair through their art. Um, and even just gratitude um, in these moments for us to be able to have the access to resources and stuff that we did and to be able to share whatever we could with our families and our friends over there. So I think a lot of artists definitely used their art as a form of sort of either meditation or fundraising or whatever way they could in these desperate times. Um, I have dancer friends. There were just so many different artists who were able to use their art for such helpful and um, beautiful ways to be able to support HOH. It was really beautiful to see. Thank you, Shivani. Thanks for all of your um, volunteering, for activating all population of artists. Thank you. Um, and we, we want to thank our, our donors and our partners. Um, and to everyone watching this evening, we really can't do it without your support. Um, if there are other millennials who want to get involved, uh, definitely reach out, reach out to HOH, and thank you. Thank you.